shirt yes how is it that's nice and i think you your hair as well yes. is done very well yes it did is. you get a haircut no sis okay but you look good today mike thank you all right praise the lord children 
Okay. Psalms 111, verse 10 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All of us want to be wise, don't we? And we all need wisdom to live in this earth and face every storm, challenge, and difficulty that come our way. Each one of us might face different kinds of challenges, but God is always with us. And also we need wisdom to deal with all these kind of challenges. So sis, how was your week? Well, Mike, I had a good week. And how about you? How was your week? Well, it's boring as usual, the lockdown. Boring? to go out and yeah. But there are a lot of things that you can do, right? Our children had lot, learned a lot of memory verses last week and also many songs. They had shared it with us uh, in the last couple of weeks. Oh, that's great, sis. Yeah. So how about you? Like, you did not learn any memory verse and any new songs? Well, I was sleeping all through the week. Oh, okay. So, so sis, what do we have for today? What are you going to teach us? Well, yes, I do have a story. Are you ready to listen, children? Yes, I'm also ready, sis. All right. So uh, this is basically found in two of the Gospels in the New Testaments. So do you know what are the Gospels? Mike? Well, the first four books Matthew, in the New Testament. Oh yeah, you're right. Children, shall we all say the four Gospels together? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mike, shall we all say it together once again? Yes, sis. It's Matthew, Matthew Mark, Mark, Luke, Luke and John. John. So this is basically from two of the Gospels, uh, which is Matthew and Luke. All right, uh, Mike, any idea how... Uh, a house is built and what are the materials that we need to build a house? Well, it's paper, pen, glue, Mike, cardboard. Mike, Mike, just a minute. What is it, sis? Will you build a house with paper, glue and cardboard and paper? Yeah, that's what my teacher has said. Oh, I'm talking about a home that we could live in, a house that we would live in. Oh, I get it. So what are the materials that you need? Well, bricks. Uh-huh. Cement. Okay. And stones. Children, is that all that we need? Or are we missing something? Mike, I think you've forgotten something most important. What is this, sis? Okay, you have all these materials. But where are you going to put all of them? Well. Mm-hmm. Put the bricks one by one on top of each one. <laughs> Am okay. I right, sis? No, you were wrong, Mike. You will be putting the bricks on what? That is what I'm asking. Well, on the cement. All right. So here goes the answer. Okay. We need a land to build a house, right? Yes. Okay. So here, Jesus was sharing a parable about two men who were building their house. Mm-hmm. Okay, and one man built a house upon a rock. Mm -hmm. And the other man, he built a house on a sand. Okay. And you know what happened? There was rain and storm. And the house on the rock, did it fall flat? What do you think so, Mike? It would have fallen. The house on the rock, would it fall down or the house on the sand would fall down? The house on the sand would collapse. Exactly. So the house that was built on the sand fell flat. So here Jesus wanted, wanted us to understand that those, those who read the word, obey and practice would be like the man, the wise man who built his house upon a rock. And the one who does not listen to what the Bible says, even though he reads it, is a foolish man. Do you get that, Mike? Yes, sir, I get it. Okay. So we as children read the Bible, but put everything into practice, obey, and then seek the will of God. Yes. All right. So do you remember uh, the song that we learned in Sunday school? 
the wise man who built his house upon a rock? Let me think. All right, children, I'm sure you all remember the song, right? Shall we all sing it together? The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. Hey sis, can I do sing with you? Yeah, sure Mike, you can go ahead. Okay. All right, now we shall sing what happened to the foolish man, all right? Okay. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. And the house on the sand fell flat. All right. Okay, so do we need to be like the wise man or the foolish man? The wise man, of course. All right. So children, here we have a small activity for you this week. Now you've heard the story of the wise man and the foolish man. So you need to put it on paper in pictures. You can use um, crayons, sketch pens. Also you can paint, draw and take a photograph with the drawing that you have done and please share it on the mail ID that's mentioned on your screen. Yeah. All right? Okay. And so I hope you enjoyed the story. Jesus is our rock, right? And yes. so we need to build our house upon a rock like the wise man. Shall we all ask God to help us to build our house on the rock? Yes, Shall we yes. all close our eyes? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank and we praise you for this day in our lives. We thank you for all that you have been to us, Lord Jesus, all through this week, O oh Father. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for protecting us and keeping us safe. Thank you for the help that you have given to us. Father, help us to be like the wise man who built his house upon a rock. Father Lord, we give you all glory and honor. Pray that you would be with us all through the coming week. Bless us, O oh Father. In Jesus' most precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, children. Hey, sis, thank you for... Thank you, Mike. Take Mike care. Bye-bye. Have a blessed week. Thank you. Thank you.